Hey everybody, welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon and I hope everybody out there had a happy Thanksgiving. And in tonight's video, I have found for you 10 classic cars for sale on the internet from the year 1965. I think you're really going to like this video. Plus, we're also going to announce the winner of the little Hot Wheels that was given away in last week's video. And later in this video, we'll be giving away a Matchbox car issued in 1998, which is a 1962 Corvette. I think you're going to like that giveaway. We'll draw for it in the next video. Plus, I want to showcase tonight a truck that belongs to a young man. It's great always to see a younger generation getting interested in these vintage cars and trucks. So I want to showcase this truck for you guys. I think you'll like it as well. Now, if you see any cars in this video you'd like to check out, all you have to do is go over and click on this video's title. And then when the description pops up, click on the word more. Then scroll down and you'll see the cars in this video listed. Click on the link under that car that you're looking for. and It'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale. Okay, we have a lot going on in tonight's video. So let's go ahead and get in to number one. 1965 Ford Mustang listed in Chillicothe, Ohio for $12,000. Up for sale is this beautiful 1965 Mustang powered by a 200 cubic inch engine with an automatic transmission. It has an original 111,420 miles on it and it runs and drives great. It features the deluxe pony interior and has been upgraded with all new floors, new carpet, new brakes, new wheel cylinders, upgraded dual reservoir master cylinder, new brake drums on the rear end, new heater core and water pump, new thermostat, new spark plugs, new wires, new hoses, new brake lines, new battery, complete new exhaust system, and new tires. It sports the original spinner hubcaps and has had new rocker panel moldings installed. New chrome hood edge molding tops everything off. The seller has all of the receipts for the work done on this car. It seems like it's been just about 100% replaced. A lot has been invested in making this asking price of $12,500 a really good deal, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments if you think it's a good deal. Now, if you don't see a car that you like in the video tonight, be sure to check out the other posted videos because there are still a lot of great cars in those videos for sale as well. And who knows, you might find your dream car over in one of those videos. Moving right along, let's check out number two, 1965 Chevrolet Nova SS listed in Columbus, Ohio for $16,500. Up for sale is a stunning gray classic 1965 Chevrolet Nova SS 350 two-door hardtop that looks sharp and is sure to turn heads wherever you go. It is powered by a Chevy 350 small block engine that has been coupled with a 350 turbo transmission and it runs and drives great. The engine has clocked around 71,000 miles since being rebuilt and everything operates as it should. The body is straight and solid and all required bodywork has been done followed by a fresh coat of beautiful gloss gray paint applied giving it a remarkable look. The black interior is original and is in overall good shape and temporary seat covers have been placed over the front seats to protect the original ones. The engine has been extensively customized with lots of chrome dress making it look show worthy and custom aluminum rims and new tires have been added as well. The glass is in great condition but the driver's windshield has some fogging on the edge of the passenger side. It's an excellent deal for the asking price of $16,500 or best offer. And the seller is willing to accept trades. So there you go, guys. There's a lot of Nova collectors out there. What do you think about that deal? Is that a good price? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please like, subscribe, and share. It won't cost you a dime, but will help this little channel to grow. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Because at some of the prices of these cars are not going to last long and you will want to be one of the first ones to get notified when this videos drop so you can go over and check these cars out that's for sale. Number three, 1965 GMC C10 short bed listed in Grenada, Mississippi for $7,000. Up for sale is this beautiful rare white 1965 
GMC C10 short bed fleet side pickup with a real awesome patina look. New items include a brand new windshield, 22 inch transport wheels with baby moons. It's powered by a fresh 4.3 Vortec V6 engine and a 700 R4 transmission. This truck runs and drives good, but still needs brake and suspension work and a few of their odd and end things to be roadworthy. It has been lowered four inches for that cool lowrider California look, and the seller is asking a reasonable seven thousand or best offer. Shouldn't last long at that price. Truck comes with a bill of sale only. Guys, if you like trucks and you're in that area, that is a great deal in my opinion for one. Okay, I got your first of two trivia questions tonight. Let's see who can get these and drop their answers in the comments. First trivia question is Ford created the Thunderbird to compete against what Chevrolet car? If you know the answer, drop it in comments. We'll check them at the end of the video for fun and see what everybody had to say. Let's take a look at number four. 1965 Dodge A100 van listed in Nashville, Tennessee. For $9,000. Up for sale is this pink and white 1965 Dodge A100 with 85,000 original miles that runs and drives good but does need a fuel pump replaced to run correctly. The seller had originally purchased this vehicle for use at their bakery. The van overall is very solid with a nice interior. The body is straight and the paint is decent. All of the glass is good except the passenger side window which has a small crack. Even with those issues, this is still a great price for this van that normally goes for well over $15,000. The seller is asking $9,000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title for this little 1965 Dodge A100 van. Okay, we're going to pause right here for a moment and give you an American Rod Shop Extra. We're going to be showcasing a 1963 Ford F-100 short wheelbase fleet side van that belongs to a young man. And I'm glad to see any time the younger generation picks up an interest in old cars and trucks and try to preserve and drive those today. Hey, this is Jake and his pickup truck he got. This is what, Jake? 63 Ford F100. 63 Ford F100. How long have you had this truck? About two years. About two years? Yeah. And you traded for it? It looks like you got a pretty good trade. Yeah, I traded the 03 Cat uh, two-wheel drive for it straight up from an old man. Everything, nice. Everyone's good. I ain't, I ain't done nothing to it, but put them Ford wheels on it. And those look of, really good on there. They come off a of 97 Ford. I love that patina look. I like the original all original look about it so let's see that motor got an inline 300 all original original radiator had the carburetor rebuilt nice let's check out the interior is that gun standard option <laughs> I had an aftermarket radio put in it, some no old man done that. Oh, that's great. You need them tunes going down the road. I love the patina look about it. I'm glad you kept it that way. You'll hear it fired up. Jake, appreciate you sharing that truck with everybody out appreciate there.
All right, let's look at number five. 1965 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442, listed in Kokomo, Indiana, for $18,500. Up for sale is a beautiful red 1965 Oldsmobile 442 that runs absolutely fantastic. This car has had lots of attention focused on the motor, running gear, and suspension. It is a Chevrolet LS 5.3 engine with twin GT45 turbos and a Stage 3 BTR turbo cam. 862 heads with BTR springs. It has Michigan Motors rockers and push rods and BTR turbo head gaskets. Street trip converter. It has a 355 Positrack factory rear end installed. New upper and lower tubular control arms with ball joints were installed along with a front disc brake conversion. Has aluminum radiator, electric fan, and many more items too many to list. The paint looks good and glossy, but does have some cracks and chips. Trunk pans were replaced by an amateur, but work well, and the original interior is fair but needs seat covers replaced this car has the original factory buckets factory door panels and rear seat no headliner or center console sellers asking eighteen thousand five hundred or best offer but will consider trades for a 68 or 69 chevelle i want to invite you guys and gals over to check out the american rod shop store the link to it can be found over in the video's description. Christmas is right around the corner. And for your favorite American Rod Shop fan, you can find t-shirts, coffee mugs, hoodies, mouse pads, posters, and many more great items. And the sale from all these items goes back in to support this channel. Okay, let's stop and find out who won the little Hot Wheels 1955 Red Chevrolet Nomad that was featured in the last video. We're about to draw for it and we'll find out who gets that one. And first we're going to go over to the YouTube comment picker website and we'll put in the URL code for the video. Then we'll click on select a comment. We'll find out who won this. Larry Christensen. Congratulations, Larry. You have won this little 1955 Chevy Nomad Hot Wheels car. Contact me within seven days at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com and I'll give you details on how to collect your totally free prize. Okay, let's check out number six 1965 Ford Thunderbird listed in Albuquerque, New Mexico for $15,800. For sale is a burgundy 1965 Ford Thunderbird with a clean title. From New Mexico. The car runs and drives very well, and thanks to a recent rebuild of its 390 motor and C6 automatic transmission, this car runs very smoothly, has great power, transmission shifts smoothly, and it runs and drives great. This car performs very well out on the highway, and the car has been recently painted with a burgundy color similar to that of new Ford models. And the car looks amazing in person. The seats have brand new black upholstery and the interior electronics work properly, such as the gauges, the taillights, and the headlights. This is a very fun car to drive that turns head, and the seller is asking a reasonable price of $15,800 to best offer, and you just couldn't find that much car for that much money hardly anymore. Time for trivia question number two. What was the last year Dodge Chargers had flip out headlights. If you know the answer, drop it in the comments. We'll check them at the end of the video and find out who got what right. Here's your wild one. Number seven, 1965 Buick Skylark listed in Sherman Oaks, California for $29,950. Up for sale is a customized 1965 Buick Skylark two-door hardtop. This car is stunningly coated with hot rod matte black paint and candy green metallic flames that have also been white pinstriped along the outlines everywhere. 
It comes with power steering, power brakes with disc on the front, power windows, power driver seat, factory AC, but it does need charging, has a tilt column and nearly impeccable original interior. The body is super straight and rust free with a new vinyl top. It has been driven only 118,000 original miles in 58 years and has always been garaged and well maintained. The car runs very smoothly and is equipped with a 300 cubic inch V8 engine, automatic transmission, and brand new American Racing Torque thrust wheels and tires. You will be impressed with its performance and you won't find another one quite like it. Asking $29,950 or best offer, and it does come with a clean title. Number 8. 1965 Ford Galaxy 2-Door Hardtop. Listed in Washington, Pennsylvania for $13,500. For sale is a red 1965 Ford Galaxy 500 2-Door Hardtop. It has had three owners, and its current owner has replaced a 390 motor which is coupled with a C6 automatic transmission and has a ratchet shifter. The car runs and drives great and tracks straight on the road. All tires and brakes are in good working condition. The car has an older glossy paint job and the red and white custom interior is in very good shape. The body is straight and solid and the floors, frame and trunk are in outstanding condition. This is an amazing cruising car that will always get looks and thumbs up everywhere it goes. You could not ask for more for the asking price. The car has a clean title and is available for $13,500, but unfortunately, the owner is not interested in any trades. Okay, this one appears to be a pretty sweet little Ford for the asking price. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about this 65 Ford Galaxy. Okay, here's the giveaway for tonight's video, and we'll draw in the next video, find out who won this one. This is a Matchbox 1962 Corvette that was issued in 1998, so this little Matchbox is 25 years old. Only thing you got to do to try to win, you must be a subscriber, and enter the word VET in the comment section. Enter the word VET and be a subscriber, and you'll be entered in to win this gift. We're coming into the home stretch with number nine. 1965 GMC Suburban 1500, listed in Dubois, Pennsylvania, for $16,500. For sale is a turquoise 1965 GMC Suburban 1500 Sport Utility Truck. It runs and drives great with a well maintained 350 engine and 700 R4 automatic transmission that both has just over 100 thousand original miles on it the truck has been lowered four inches in the rear and six inches in the front and features power steering power brakes disc brakes on the front and has been converted to a five lug wheel setup although it's not perfect the truck is solid with an awesome light patina shading that looks very cool it's a great cruiser and gets lots of attention wherever it goes the wheels and tires are new having been put on at the beginning of the summer and the interior looks great. All glass and electrical components are in good condition. The asking price is $16,500, and the seller is not looking for any trades. So here's kind of a rare item for $16,500, I think, which is a pretty good deal. About to get into number 10, but if you would, at the end of the video, drop in the comments what was your favorite car or truck shown in this video and why. I just love reading your guys' comments on what your favorite vehicles was. It's very, very entertaining. Well, we've made it to number 10, and I think this is the best deal in the whole video tonight. I don't think this thing's going to last long. But number 10, 1965 Corvair Monza, listed in Edders, Pennsylvania, for $6,500. Up for sale is this incredible-looking red 1965 Chevy Corvair Monza, with a 110 horsepower dual carb motor with a manual transmission that has an original 75,000 miles on it. The car has had an older restoration that still looks amazing. 
The last owner did a lot of work to it, including pulling the drive line and rebuilding it. The seller has all receipts of all paperwork or parts ordered and put on it. The seller has had new tires put on it and had it tuned up at the Corvair Ranch in Gettysburg and has installed seat belts. This is a great running car that runs and drives exactly as it should. The seller has driven it on a couple of weekend trips with it without any issue. The bucket seats you see in the picture have been removed and the original black stock seats have been reinstalled to the car. Asking a very low $6,500 or best offer for this 1965 Corvair Monza. Again, guys, I think this is probably the best deal in the whole video tonight. I don't think it's going to last long. All right, here are the trivia answers to the two questions in tonight's video. The Ford Thunderbird was produced to be in competition against the Chevrolet Corvette. That's the first answer. And then the second question was 1973 was the year that the Dodge Chargers had the last flip-up headlights, and those were only on just a few models for that year. Alrighty, guys and gals, that wraps up another video. And gosh, time just flies. I have so much fun bringing these videos for you guys to watch. And I hope you're thoroughly enjoyed and entertained by watching them as well. May God bless each and every one of you. I appreciate all you guys being viewers. You just don't know how much. Check out the other videos. There's still some good cars in those videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.